Hello everybody, this is Craig from Fat Dog Trading and we today we're going to do an unboxing of a Bob's Evolution or Bob's CC Evolution 4. It just arrived. I looked everywhere on the internet and I couldn't find where anybody had done one an unboxing whenever I was when I was looking at what CNC I was going to buy and I uh, felt like it's needed so let's see what's in this baby. Here we go. It arrived in two boxes, same size, and they seem to be about equally weighed, probably 20, 20 pounds a piece. That's where they were sitting when I got home. No signing was needed, which was awesome because I was out of pocket today. So let's open them up and see what we got. Inside the first box, we got a lot of paper. We've got a packing list. All right. So I guess we had the right box on top in the first box. In the bag, in the Ziploc baggie, we have got, looks like some, here's the belt, screws, nuts, got a box, it says beware, sharp, apparently it's wood screws. Regular old wood screws. Look like stainless. That's impressive because apparently they're all stainless steel. Okay, in the first one we have bigger longer pieces looks like they're all in good shape from the shipping I'm going to set them right here in the dead grass so we can open the second box up because that is all that's in the first box when I get done unpacking I'm going to go ahead and spread them all out and start the sealing process of all the parts because it says that they highly recommend, almost require, that everything is sealed. I don't know if you don't, whether it's going to affect the warranty, but here is the Makita one and a quarter horsepower compact router, RTO701C. It comes with it. Inside the bo this box. Got some paperwork. Got a packing sheet. And the warranty. Got a 90 day warranty. 30 day return policy. And then of course the the router warranty is 
separate. We got a box here labeled Evolution 4 wood parts. Holy moly. Look at all those parts. Like a jigsaw puzzle. I mean it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven layers deep of these parts. So we gotta spread those puppies out. We've got a power supply. In this box, we have a controller. It's got an A on it. Controller A. Oh lordy. Put that bag up. We have more hardware. Tons of screws. Bearings. Eccentric spacers. Pulleys. The computer cable, washers, more screws, wire pin and tubing. Let's see what this is. Looks like all the stops, machine stops. We got wire ties. I probably should know what that is, but I do not. Something to do with the motor guide or something. Tons of screws. Just tons of them. Okay, there's another box. Stepper motors. There are the motors for it. Heavy duty. Automation technology. They're heavy. And then another bundle. Of laser cut. Birch, I believe they said it was. And there's some rods in there. Inside this. Looks like there is one. Two rods. Let's see what we got. Two rods. One, two. And there is a third one in there, shorter. So three rods for the rails. And that is all that's in there. No warranty is given. A refund for any software. The assembly manuals. Looks like you scan them. And that will get us to it. I'm not sure how I'm gonna scan them with the computer. I guess I'll scan with the phone and see if that gets me to where I'm going. Or where I need to go. Cause I'd like to use the computer, print stuff out if I need to. But it all looks very extremely professionally sent. The packaging was good. 
I see no damage. UPS did a good job getting it here. So basically I see two bundles of big parts and one many, many, many smaller parts. The ribs and all that stuff I'm sure. So I am going to take and lay out a brand new tarp, lay it all out, spray it with some polycrylic. That way I can spray it a couple coats and then get started building this puppy in the morning. I'm going to go ahead and show you the layout of the pieces that I need to take either paint or seal. This here is the top, I mean the, the um, spoil board, so that doesn't need to be sealed. But here's all the pieces. Come this way so shadow is not there. A lot of the pieces are, are, um, or some of the pieces are marked, like, for example, that one says Z7, Z8, Z4, but not all of them are marked, so I know the assembly instructions are outstanding, everybody says, so there's a reason why those are marked, so I guess it makes it easier to not get them confused during assembly, when the rest of them, all the ones that look the same, are indeed the same. One thing I was going to show you, it's the little things that matter to me, but when I got through pulling everything out of the box I got my little note said thanks thought that was not just comical but but caring shows it's a you're buying from people when you buy from Bob you're not buying from a massive company and that means something to me always has always will so I'm gonna get to spraying I'm going to spray these, I'm going to spray these with polycrylic, figure it's going to take three cans maybe to get, to get that done on both sides, at least two coats. Hopefully I have this tilted right. Y'all can see. I'm going to see what happens with this assembly instructions. Not wanting to do the four, does the five. Now it's on the website. Just go to the website, click on support manuals and documentation and there it is inside of it has the assembly manual finished assembly poster so you can see what it looks like when you're setting it up it's sort of like a jigsaw puzzle you need to see the picture evolution software setup evolution series warranty evolution four one piece spoil board diagram evolution four one piece spoil board DXF QR code or whatever it's called didn't work but the um it's on the website it's not like it's in a secret location or something so that's good
trying to hit it at an angle to get in some of the grooves, get some of the, get the edges. Then as I as I take and flip them, I'll get the other edges. After I spray along like I'm doing here, I come back and hit all the edges back quickly. So I got two and a quarter, two and a quarter coverage from one can of poly.